Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Firefox version 129, which is the latest stable release, has just arrived. And that was a short while ago today, on the 6th of August, 2024. Now, to double check, as always, that we have this latest version, we head to our main menu, Help, About Firefox. And after this update has been applied, the version and build is sitting on 129. Point zero. Now, first of all, like all major version upgrades of Firefox, we get security fixes that have rolled out. And for version 129, we get 14 security vulnerabilities that have been patched and fixed. And out of the 14 vulnerabilities that have been fixed, most of those, uh, 11 to be exact, are high impact, which is your second highest ranked vulnerability after a critical so this is an important security update 14 security fixes in total and 11 of those fixes are addressing um, high impact vulnerabilities now focusing on what's new when it comes to new features in firefox 129 and there are seven new features um, that have made their way into this latest uh, release and the first two are regarding reader view which obviously, as you may well know, uh, if you use Reader View, it just um, declutters a website for easier reading and so on and gets rid of all the clutter. So if we just show you an example, we just head into a web page where we can use Reader View. Reader View is accessed here to the right-hand side of the address bar. And what they've done now is they have now enhanced text and layout menu with new options for the character spacing, word spacing, and text alignment. So to show you what that's all about, to the left-hand side, text and layout, we click on that, and yeah, and yeah, under advanced, you will see character spacing. So there we go. You get the idea. You can adjust the character spacing. You've got word spacing. So you can adjust that to your personal choice and preference. And then you've got text alignment. So there we go. You get the general idea. So that's um, some enhancements there to the reading reader view. And still staying with reader view. This time, if we head to the theme, um, Mozilla says um, the reader view now has a theme menu with additional contrast and gray options. So that would be contrast and gray. And you can also select custom colors for text, background, and links from the custom tab. So there we go. And that's more or less what that is all about. So quite a lot going on when it comes to the user interface and the functionality um, using the reader view in Firefox 129. Then moving on to the third new feature, which is part of a progressive rollout according to Mozilla. Okay, so that's what I call a controlled rollout. And unfortunately, I haven't got it yet in my region. And I have posted on this previously where um, a tab preview is now displayed when hovering the mouse over background tabs, which according to Mozilla will make it easier to locate the tab without needing to switch tabs. And that's on a controlled rollout, so it could be region specific. But just to give you a general idea, as you may well know, if I just head over to Chrome, if you hover over a tab, there we go. That's a tab preview with that little thumbnail preview of the tab, just making it easier. And that's just an example using Chrome, just making it easier to locate your tab without having to go through a whole lot of tabs and click on each one individually. And then the um, next four I'm going to uh, just mention quickly. Um, these are mainly taking place under the hood. And the first two are regarding... Um, a secure website so it's HTTPS is replacing HTTP as the default protocol in the address bar on non-local sites so if a site is not available via HTTPS Firefox will fall back to HTTP and then the next HTTPS um, improvement is that DNS records can now be resolved with the operating systems DNS resolver on specific platforms which will be Windows 11 Linux and Android 10 plus so just, it's just on those three platforms. Previously, this required DNS over HTTPS to be enabled. So those are taking place um, under the hood. And if you are using um, Firefox on Mac OS, 
They've added support for multiple languages in the same document spoken in macOS VoiceOver. So that's only applicable to macOS. And then address autofill is now enabled for users in France and Germany. And once, once again, I cannot show you what that's all about because um, address autofill is specific to only a couple of regions. And those regions currently, over and above the new uh, regions that are available, are located in Canada, France, Germany, and the US. So that's also region specific. So France and Germany um, are the latest regions to get address or to fill. And then um, there are some enterprise changes and developer changes, which won't be of interest to your average home user. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in Firefox version 129. And a lot of focus on that read of you in this latest release. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.